Hello, sorry about that. Hopefully OBS will not crash like it did before. And uh, hopefully I won't be interrupted for the rest of the night either. We'll see how that goes. So we do have one more swing, I believe, Kronk. Because you are using the scimitar of speed, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, uh, I rolled a 26 and a 12. Uh, did not see the... Oh, never mind. There it is. Uh, 26 does hit, which, and that was on this one for... Th oh, wait. Did I already subtract it? I don't know why. I don't yeah, know I if I did or not. Uh, yeah. screw it. I'll take it away anyway. All right. And that finishes your turn? Yay! Welcome. Yeah. All right, Vol. What do you got? All right. Vol. Vol's going to have the pop out of the car and be like, shit. Gotta go help that guy out. So Lily pops out, jumps over to the Slicer Beast before they can start munching on their meal. I'm gonna poke it in the butt with a booming blade. You can certainly try. Oh, right, Lily. Here's a booming blade on. And. Yeah! What'd you get there? I'm trying to do three things at once again. Um, oh. it still has its placement up at 60. Uh, no, it's 19. Uh, no, which one? Oh, no, this one did. Okay. Yeah, this one, yeah, this one would have. So, still hits. 16 still hits. Alright, so, let me roll damage. Alright. Alright, that is... 18? You're seeing it in thunder damage, and if they try to run off, then they'll take the thunder damage. Okay. And no. next swing in the face. Okay. Seven that hits. Eight. Yep. Seven to the face. It uh, gets slashed in the face, cut up a little bit there, and growls angrily as this booming blade kind of like illuminates around it to keep it from stepping away or face the blade. Anything else for your turn? Um, free action, yell to Shella, go like, might need you to be able to pick someone up. They might be heading to death's door. So, instructing Shella to come help. Ah, because <laughs> All right. our goal is to help them out, right? Yeah, sure. I'll be right there as soon as I... Oh, wait, the horses are still going? I don't know, I'm just messing with you, they're not. Jack, you're up. Oh, Crunk, Arthur, I'm glad you two are here. Go get him, buddy. And I'm gonna slap Crunk on the shell and cast Enhance Ability. Oh, okay. And I will give him Bear's Endurance. He has advantage on constitution checks, and he gains... 2d... He gains 7 temporary hit points. So we're giving hit points to the person who's less likely to get hit. <laughs> yes, the Kronk. Uh-huh, okay. I did just piss it off to him, so I mean, it, it might come in yeah, handy. It might come in handy, yeah. Alright, let's see here. Anything else for your turn? Nah, that's it. Alright. Let me just put this in here real quick, because... <laughs> Yeah, you know who I'm talking about. Oh, oh hey, look at there, guys. Up. We got, we got, we got, we got a draw of the deck of many things for Arthur. Can you imagine that? <laughs> can I, can I give him an advantage? What on a deck of many things draw? No, you can't <laughs> give him an advantage. All right, so I'm gonna shuffle up this lovely deck here. And I was told, this is courtesy, what was that character's name again, Lexi? I can't remember her name off the head. Uh, no, wait, maybe I do. No, what was her name? <laughs> it's not coming to me. Well, Christopher, it was nice knowing Arthur. Hey, he might have gotten What? I'm not sure what you're talking about. Also, I'm like, what, between 60 and 90 feet away from you? <laughs> I know, it's like you hear super clearly. Hold on, what? Well, well, hmm. Yeah, this is going to be a thing. 
I don't know. I feel like this card gets drawn too much. All right, then why don't you flip that card and see what you got? You've got the visor. Gee, I wonder what that does. Do you guys remember? Oh, yeah, I do. Basically, yeah. you get to ask him a question, a question that he has to answer honestly. So nothing in God. Literally, you ask Star a question that he has to answer completely honest. No cryptic. Just answer mm. honestly. Oh, I thought so it just gave least... you the ability to pull sunglasses over your eyes anytime that you wanted, regardless of whether you had sunglasses. Only if your name's Scott. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> that means you got two of those cards in, in the game right now. He's got two of them? No, there's yeah. two of them in the game. Oh, should we just pull a new one then? Because this one's already in the game somewhere? Should I, Is that what I'm hearing? Yeah, I've Kronk's got one. What's everybody's vote? Should I do we know roll? Kronk has, and I, think, and I think the other one... Sure. I want to say... I want to say Amara has? I mean... She's got wishes left too. So. No, she yeah, she had wish. She got a wish. Well, I know she has wish, but I I do know that somebody in this game also got vizier, but I legitimately uh, don't remember yeah. who it was. The first you might be thinking of is Kaz address. She has it. But not that's not our game though. No, 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 no. Well, no this Chris, Chris, oh. Chris Kronk has it. In this okay, game. okay, okay. So we decided to re-roll then, right? Because it's already in the game, right? Right? Is that the consensus? Just making well, sure we're all one. clear. All right, all right, three. Do you want do you want to re-roll this because it's already in the game, or do you want sure. that question? Sure. All right, sure. flip that card. You get a choice. One, you could level the entire party and yourself right here, right now, or you could draw two additional cards beyond your declared draw. <laughs> I'll pick that level. <laughs> I'm not gambling. <laughs> Are you drawing two cards or the level? You know what? Why don't we give them both? <laughs> I'm just kidding. I know. Right. Well, my friends, since uh, this has been a lovely game for me, why don't you go ahead and level yourselves up? Hey, you know what else? Yeah. This also gives Paulina a free level. <laughs> Wait. How would you describe a star all of a sudden everybody gets a level up? Like, do they just feel invigorated? Well, let, let's level up first, because I have to think about my end too, because I have a couple NPCs that are in the same boat. And then I'll describe it as soon as we're all done. How's that sound? I can't remember oh, how to get the uh, character mancer on this stupid thing. It's uh, the cogwheel, next to core, bio spells, what? cogwheel, and then at the very bottom okay. right. Yeah. Nice. Also, I'm going to think you I finally got one of my favorite abilities. I know, they're too plain. <laughs> well, I got an Eldritch Strike. Yay! Is that even wrong? Oh, it was a six. Sorry, I'm going to give her a six back on that. This... For some reason, I don't know if it's because she's a sorcerer, but it's being really laggy. Oh my god, I forgot to. I get my third cantrip, guys! <laughs> About time you got good at something there, Fo. Now as your mentor... <laughs> as your mentor... Hurts me, hurts me greatly, Shella. But that shouldn't hurt. I, I respect the fact that you are improving in your field of expertise. Keep digging a wound in her heart. <laughs> I was so excited. You're, you're personally attacking yourself at this point. <laughs> I know, I know. I'm joking. Oh! While we're talking about this, Mega, help me out. What should I get for an Eldritch Knight can't reply? What do you already have again besides Booming Blade? Um, Blade Ward. I got that just in case if I needed to really tank up. I mean, are you looking to be offensive with it? Or are you looking to be more utilitarian with it? Uh... If it helps you out, like, basically... They let, now that I'm level 10, I can also hit a creature with an attack? 
making them roll disadvantage on their next saving throw against the spell I cast before the end of my next turn. Toll of the dead. So I can go offensive. Um, I mean, okay, I guess the better question because, like, I, I should probably also ask this: like, what is your intelligence modifier right now? Uh, it's sixteen, so three. I mean, it's not particularly bad, because, uh, I mean, like, there's always, like, if you're if you're not looking for, like, another, air quote, offensive cantrip, but more utilitarian, like, there is technically Mind Sliver, um. But it kind of hey, does the same fair. thing you're already doing with your invocation, though, ain't it? Um, well, think of it as, like, you could just stack it, so it's kind of, like, you're just constantly making it so that you can just kind of wail on someone. Oh, uh, that's no. I was talking about the effect that that mind sliver does. Like, aren't you already getting that from the trait that you just shared? I'm trying to read it, but roll twenty three in a butt. It is. It is. It's being a terrible butt because I can just now get to Shella's level five spells. Oh, animate object. I wonder what that does. You know what? It uh, might be faster for me to look it up. Mind Sliver. Well, Mind Sliver is, is a... If it fails an intelligence save, uh, it has a D4 uh, reduction to their saving throw. No, it was like a bang then. I mean, that's still pretty good. Oh, no! Okay, my roll 20 just... Oh, what the fuck? Although, important note, important note for Eldritch Strike... Uh, the specific wording is that on a dis the disadvantages on a spell that you cast, whereas uh, Mind Sliver can be simply used on the next saving throw it has to make. So it kind of can stack, doesn't it? Then? Potentially, if uh, if nobody forces that same creature to make a saving throw by the time your turn rolls around. Because like only only you can benefit from the disadvantage because it has to be a spell that you cast. Well, you anybody can, can take advantage of the D four. I think I will take it then because then Bolt can actually start doing offensive spells since she really needs to like she just if it's a long term fight she could just beat someone down, get their save lower lowered enough, and then they could just hit them with a big spell or a spell that they want to hit. Them. Well, I think I finally got mind saving. We'll see how that goes. Star, would you my, mind? My... Oh, go ahead, I was going to say my roll 20 is freaking slow as shit. I might have to reload it or something. I, I know, right? Yeah. Sorry, guys. I don't know what's going on with roll 20 tonight. I. It... Can I do? Do I need to be the outlier here, where roll twenty is working perfectly fine for me? Well, I'm trying to level two characters. I just got done with Shella. It took me this long though. <sighs> well, nice to know. Forty k cookie clusters from my alt account got you guys a level up. <laughs> Sorry about that. En enjoy <laughs> while you can. I'll I mean, all mine. I mean, I could have just made you roll twice more. <laughs> all right, let me try closing all these extra things. All right, so since now I can get another second level spell to burn. Uh... Sorry guys, we did not mean to bore you with this. We thought we were actually going to create hell for dead meat, but apparently he got a blessing instead. <laughs> I got thinking about that the other day. Probably like the best thing you could hope for with a deck of many cards is to pull like wish first and then just ask for all the bad cards to be pulled out of it with no effect. I don't think it'll work on itself like that. DM discretion though, right? Yeah, I mean... 
but apparently but that kind of like takes the risk of doing anything with the deck anyway. What, you're, you're saying that's metagaming or something? <laughs> yeah, I think that is, because technically you don't know what's in the deck that could cause you harm anyway. Like, you don't know there's going to be harm. So yeah, yeah, that's a little bit of metagaming there. <laughs> I mean, if the DM wants to let you metagame, it's one thing. All right, Paulina's not going to get to level up because uh, I think she has no stats. Hmm. You know, for second level, it really does matter what I get. All right, Mega, this will be my last question. Shatter or Melt, uh, melt Sastero? Uh... Personally, if if those are the if those are the two that you're deciding between, um, shatter probably. If for no other reason than you lack area of effect abilities. I mean, that's a fair point because, like, that's why I was asking just because I was gonna. Since I have Mind Sliver, I could use that. I don't want to use Agonizing Scorcher either. That's lame. Alright, Paulina's just going to have to cancel, it seems. I'll try to get her leveled up outside of the game. Uh, how are we doing, guys? Are you about finished? Uh, Hardly even started. <laughs> oh, man. Sorry. Do I cancel. dare... Do I dare get rid of Absorb Elements to get a first level spell difference? Sure, do it. I mean, no. me personally, I feel like getting rid of Absorb Elements is the worst thing you can do, but that's I up know. to you, though. <laughs> Absolutely, I mean, by all means, go for it. I mean, what I might do is just get rid of Protection from Evil and Good, since I already have it on my reign. But when you cast it off your ring, then you won't have it. <laughs> it's already cast. I'm just saying, like, you can't reuse it, right? Uh, here, uh, I'll put it in a different way. Uh, first level scrolls are pretty easy for you oh. to afford now. Yeah, oh, yeah that's right, true. Right. That's fair. <laughs> yeah, that's, like, that, that's like the a, thing for a, I was for a situational like... spell that's never going to come up or rarely ever going to come up, it's an easy swap out. <laughs> That's fair. Then, yeah, I think I'm done. Let's see. I mean, me personally, I'm trying to pick between two level five spells, and I'm not sure which one the the party me needs more of. <laughs> What's your two options? Well, like they both kind of like serve a similar but different function. Um, I'm trying to pick between uh, between scrying and dream. I mean, if you go for scrying, it means that you would help Arthur out a lot. Well, scrying might be more useful because Dream requires your target to be asleep. And how many sleeping people are you going to what? Okay, never mind. E either one seems to work for you, <laughs> depending upon what you want to do with it. <laughs> well, like the, the only the only reason why I might take scrying is because I know if if I'm remembering correctly, scrying is on the Druid spell list but I don't think Krunk will ever prepare it. I mean, you could ask. <laughs> we all sit here in bated breath. No, I, no, I just, no, I just, I just assume that, I just assume that, that nobody prepares uh, the spells that I think they would. So exactly. No, that's, that's how, that's how I make my spell decisions. Um, yeah, that's fair. That's fair. Right. So I, I made that mistake with Dispel Magic, and I'm never making that mistake again. Oh, my. goodness. Hmm. My god, Mind Sliver. Oh, wait. Curious question. Can I do Mind Sliver with a bow? Uh, attack or nah? Mind Sliver nah. is just a cantrip. <laughs> you no, no, no I'm aware. I'm just trying to figure out with more cast food. It. You have to cast it. Like, it's not used with an attack, is it? Mind Sliver is uh, an attack on its own, right? Eldritch Knights are weird. They can basically use a, you know, main attack as a bonus action. After well, let me look. I'll I'll just put it this way. 
uh, similar to how you've been doing your your bullshit with uh, um, with booming blade, you can cast mind sliver with your action and then bonus action make a weapon attack. Regardless, you'll always be able to make at least one arrow attack on your turn. Damn. Yeah. No. Thank you for letting me help me out with that pick. That helps out a lot. Now she has a close range option and a far away option. So how are we on getting done? Kronk, were you able to get in there? Like, I'm on the screen where I can, like, select my uh, spells, but she ain't yeah. going through, so we might just have to play through. All right. Sounds good to me. <laughs> like, I even tried to cancel out, and it didn't let me cancel out, so... Should be able to cancel, yeah. I don't know. I'll take a quick look for you, Kronk. Maybe I can... Maybe we can just do it together here. Let me see what's going on with your uh, character sheet real quick. All I know ah. is I'm pretty, I'm pretty tanky now. Hope you all are enjoying the lovely... Let's help Vol pick a spell. Lecture that oh, there you go. I was able to cancel out of it. Okay, now I'll, I'll just do it the hard way and just do it through a compendium. All right, sounds good to we'll me. We'll keep going no. and I'll just do it in the background. Oh, wow. I'm stuck in a loop now. What the hell? Oh, wait. Here we go. Oh, by the way, I just needed everybody to know this, but, uh, you know, like, uh, Christopher's maximum HP, like, before this level is, uh, was, uh, was 68. I just need everyone to know about the missed opportunity there. Oh. Well, Bad. just get one HP next level and you'll be good to go. Oh, no, that was last level. It's now, it's... Uh, it's now bumped up all the way to 77. It is, it, the, oh, it, is, okay. it is, it is, it is past and gone. I just well, know that then. my HP is now finally past three digits. All right, time to start taking off the kid gloves. Good to know. All right. Uh, Jack, are you okay? Like, I haven't heard from yeah. you. I need to, uh, no, I got most everything. I just need to manually enter in a, a cantrip. Because I gained one on top Yay. of a spell. So I just need to pick one so i'll be doing that all right and dead meat you're done right arthur yep mine was fairly simple yeah rogues are pretty what level did you take anyway was that was that your rogue like level, level or were you oh yeah that yeah i can't i couldn't remember which one you were doing next <laughs> i'm sorry what did you take second level and fighter finally oh okay you're almost too multi-attack aren't you <laughs> there you go well, not, not the multi-attack, but he is definitely getting something said, that he's been having his eye on. <laughs> an action surge. He's got an action surge. Oh, dead meat. Why? Why? Thank you so much. You just made my payday. <laughs> we have gifted subs going out to 100 people. No, only 20. 20 gifted subs from dead meat gaming. Thank you so much. So kindly for that. And if you're one of those lucky people who got a free sub, you can actually join us on Sundays if you're a part of our Discord community. And now we're going to watch as the, uh, you know, the uh, anime girl is going to keep screaming at me and say, hey, look at all these subs for the next five minutes. <laughs> Thank you so much, though. Appreciate Good job, it. Dad, you, you, broke, you broke the pet. I think you also are in the lead now and... Uh, Mitchie's gonna have to do some catching up. I could be wrong, but I'll have to check on that. <laughs> also, I don't know if anybody took damage, but uh, um, did anyone take damage in that first round? I actually yeah. don't know. <laughs> yeah, this guy did. Jack was taking some okay. tentacles to the face. Now let that paint a picture for you. Well, it's just like, because I think at, at the end of the level up, he's going to be automatically set to his maximum HP. <laughs> I, I reduced it by the amount I took. Oh, that's a good oh, okay. sport. That's a good sport. The battle is ready. We will get stream raiders going. Thank you guys for populating the field and keeping that going. Uh, and I guess, let's see here. Jack, if you're ready to take your turn, you can. Uh, or are you uh, still? I, I gave my... Uh, Enhance ability to. Oh yeah, uh, to Kronk. Right, right. Was that just okay? So then we were on the displacer beast then. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Vol has 
provoke this displacer beast as I continue to hear the lovely things of all those subs. Thank you so much again. Uh, two slaps to Vol. We get a uh, not a natural 20 and then a natural 20. Vol is hard to hit, so it's pretty much going to take that natural 20, huh? What do you got? Yeah. Yep, I'm not. You know, I could shield. I'm not. I'll Either take way. all that damage. Either way, 11 plus 10 is 21 points of piercing and bludgeoning damage as it comes crackling in with one of the tentacles, but the other one just kind of like slides off your blade and doesn't quite make contact. All right, Vol starts coughing in the background, go like, you know, just, I'm not, okay, I can't cough right now. My throat's really bad. Oh, don't, don't worry. You can just paint the picture for now. Yeah! <laughs> Uh, Shella tries to make her way over. Let's see, that's 20.